students welcome to quick learn tutorial series in this video i will explain you pin diagram of 8051 microcontroller this is lecture number 7 of microcontroller series so before i discuss the pin diagram first i will give you a brief introduction of microcontroller uh, what is microcontroller Microcontroller basically a microprocessor based system with integrated peripheral. It means microcontroller basically consists of CPU central processing unit, uh, memory that is ROM, RAM, clock generator, input output port, timer, counter, all the device, all the component uh, which is required to perform a specific task, um, all component embedded on a single chip. That's why it is also called the embedded system or microcontroller is also called mini computer or system on chip. Now, how microcontroller is different from microprocessor? Microprocessor only having a CPU, central processing unit and central processing unit basically consists of a register, control unit and ALU. All the other component just like memory, input output port, clock generator or other component we use externally in case of microprocessor. So this is the basic difference between microprocessor and microcontroller. Microprocessor is basically only a CPU. If we want to connect other peripheral, we connect them externally. But in case of microcontroller, all component just like CPU, memory, input output port, all component uh, to perform a specific task is embedded on a single chip. Now what do you mean by 8051 microcontroller? 8051 microcontroller is basically designed by Intel in 1980s. This is a most popular and general purpose microcontroller. 8051 microcontroller is 8 bit microcontroller and it is available in 40 pin dual inline package IC. So here we see this is a 40 pin dip IC of 8051 microcontroller. It having 40 pin. Here we see left hand side 1 to 20 pin is display and right hand side 21 to 40 pin is display. What do you mean by dual inline package? Actually IC it means integrated circuit are put into protective package to allow easy handling or assembly into the PCB printed circuit board and to protect the device from damage a very large number of different type of packages are exist. These packages are SIP that is single inline package, DIP dual inline package, CDIP ceramic dual inline package and ZIP zip zigzag inline package all package having different different configuration just like all packages having different pin spacing different um, spacing between two rows so 8051 is a dip dual inline package now before i discuss the 8051 microcontroller pin diagram we know that 8051 microcontroller having 4 8 bit bidirectional input output port that is port 0, port 1, port 2, port 3 each port having 8 8 bit and these port are work as a bidirectional input output port it means uh, these ports work as a input port as well as as a output port now I start from the left hand side of the pin diagram that is pin number 1 to pin number 8 these 8 pins are allotted for port 1 uh, so here it is denoted P1.0 this is first number pin of port 1 P1.1 this is second number pin of port 1 up to P1.7 this is 8th number pin of port 1 these port 1 uh, work as a general input output port these port do not have any other function it means this port cannot take any other information it have only single function it is work like a simple input output port by using this port we have only input the bit or output the bit with the help of port 1 register of 8051 microcontroller now the next pin is Pin number 9 that is RST pin. RST stands for reset pin. The reset pin is basically used to reset the microcontroller to its initial value. 
this pin is active high pin so if we want to reset the microcontroller this pin become high and microcontroller start to its initial value it means all the register all the flag of microcontroller reset in its initial value so rst is for reset the microcontroller so nine number pin is for reset pin next pin is pin number 10 to pin number 17 these eight pin are allotted for port 3 as i have already told port 1 have only a single function uh, it work like a simple input output port but the remaining three port that is port 3 port 2 port 0 having dual function pin they perform simple input output function uh, as well as they also perform some special functions so let's discuss the port 3 functions uh, as i have already told port 3 having dual function uh, it is work as a simple input output port as well as it having uh, other function like this port is used for serial communication if this port is used for interrupt this port is used for read or write data from external memory so if external uh, device is connected from 8051 microcontroller this port 3 pin is work as a different function so the first two pin of port that is pin number 10 and pin number 11 is used for serial communication for transmitting data or receiving data uh, rxd is used for receiving data and txt is used for transmitting data so with the help of these two pin we can transmit data serially or we can receive data serially in full duplex mode so in case of full duplex mode 8051 microcontroller transmit and receive data simultaneously with the help of port 3 pin that is pin number 10 and pin number 11 next two pin of 8051 port 3 is pin number 12 and pin number 13 these two pin is used for int 0 and int 1 int stands for interrupt 0 or interrupt 1 this is active low pin because here we see bar over the pin so this is active low pin it means uh, when low pulse is given uh, in this two pin a interrupt is generated now what do you mean by interrupt interrupt is basically an external event when interrupt is generated by using these two pin 8051 microcontroller hold the current execution of main program and serve the external event and give reaction to that event when this external program or that that external event is finished the 8051 microcontroller come back again and execute its main program this will be held with the help of isr interrupt service routing now the next pin of port 3 is pin number 14 and pin number 15 these two pin are allotted for t0 and t1 uh, these are the input to the counter related to timer 0 or timer 1 so we can say that these two pin are used for counter mode of operation counter is basically used to count the pulses if any external event occur outside 8051 microcontroller and if we want to count how many number of time that event occur outside 8051 microcontroller so we count with the help of pin number 14 and pin number 15 uh, these two pin it means the counter of 8051 count uh, and record how many number of time the event get occur now next two pin of port 3 that is pin number 16 and pin number 17 these two pin are used for read operation or write operation these two are active low pin because bar over the pin this pin are basically used to perform read and write data from external memory if 8051 use some external memory so from read or write data from that external memory we use 16 or 17 number pin this is active low pin 
नेक्स्ट पिन ऑफ 8051 माइक्रोकंट्रोलर इज पिन नंबर 18 एंड पिन नंबर 19 दीज आर XTAL2 एंड XTAL1 पिन दिस पिन इज यूज्ड टू कनेक्ट एक्सटर्नल क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर एंड दिस क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर इज रिस्पांसिबल टू जनरेट क्लॉक सिग्नल फॉर 8051 माइक्रोकंट्रोलर दीस क्लॉक सिग्नल सिंक्रोनाइज ऑल द कंपोनेंट ऑफ 8051 माइक्रोकंट्रोलर Uh, for example, if we connect 12 megahertz crystal, so it will help microcontroller to generate 12 clock cycle in one microseconds. So the speed of processing of microcontroller is depend on crystal oscillator frequency. Next is pin number 20. This pin number 20 is allotted for GND ground pin. This ground pin is used for ground connection to complete the circuit and given supply to ground. Next right hand side pin of 8051 microcontroller is pin number 21 to 28. These 8 pin are allotted for port 2. Uh, as I have already told port 2 also perform dual function. First function of port 2 it is work as a general purpose input output port or simple input output port. The second function of port 2 is these Port 2 pin are multiplexed with higher order address line that is A8 to A15. We know that in 8051 microcontroller having 8 bit data bus and 16 bit address bus to carry address. So out of 16 bit address bus the higher order 8 bit bus that is A8 to A15 is multiplexed with port 2 pin to carry address of the memory location. If external memory is connected in a 8051, so these address line carry the address of the external memory also. Next 29 number pin is used for PSEN signal. PSEN stands for program store enable signal. This is active low input signal. It is used to read data from external program memory. If we want to uh, read data from external program memory, we use PSEN signal. Next 30 number pin is ALE oblique program bar pin. This program bar function of pin number 30 is performed during the flash programming. This pin work as a program pulse input. ALE function. ALE stands for address latch enable. This is active high pin. This pin is used to demultiplex address or data signal of the ports. It means if this signal is high then it will tell the microcontroller that port 2 will carry higher order address bit and port 0 will carry lower order address bit. So here we see in the diagram port 0 is multiplexed with lower order address line and data line. So if we want to demultiplex address or data line, it means if we want to know these pin carry address or these pin carry data, we use address latch enable pin. Next 31 number pin is EA bar. EA stands for external access pin. It is used for accessing the external memory or this pin is used to enable or disable the external memory interfacing. Next 32 number pin. 32 to 39 number pin is allotted for port 0. As I have already told port 0 also perform dual function. It is work like a simple input output port or it having dual function. The next function is these port pins are multiplexed with lower order address line or data lines. If we want to demultiplex this address or data line or if we want to know this pin carry address or data we use address latch enable. So port 0 also having dual function. Next or last pin of 8051 microcontroller is pin number 40. This is allotted for VCC. Uh, VCC is used for power supply pin. Um, from VCC we give plus 5 volt power supply for the operation of 8051 microcontroller. So in this way I will explain all the functions of all the pin of 8051 microcontroller. Now again I am repeating 8051 microcontroller having 4 8 bit bidirectional input output ports. 
These ports are port 0, port 1, port 2 and port 3. Each port having 8, 8 bit. So total 4 port having 32 bit. Each port perform dual function except port number 1. Port number 1 perform only single function that is it is perform only simple input output function. But port 3, port 2 and port 0. These 3 ports perform dual function. They are work as a simple input output port and perform other function also. So hope you like the video. For more interesting video, please like, subscribe and share my channel.